what is up everyone i hope all of you are doing great and today i'm back again with another question of j advanced and this question is from electromagnetic induction and shm so let us go through the question very quickly so there is a conducting disk of mass m and volume v suspended with the help of a light spring of force constant k from a fixed support as you can see in the diagram thickness of the disk is much smaller than its radius okay uh, a uniform magnetic field of induction b is parallel to the plane of the disk is established and the disk is pulled down slightly and released find the time period of the small amplitude oscillation of the disk okay very easy question so first let us draw the diagram of the disk in equilibrium condition okay so this is the spring and this is the disk this is k okay in equilibrium condition of course the spring is a little bit stretched so let the stretching be x naught here so k x naught must be equals to mg so this is the equation for equilibrium condition and uh, it is given that there is a constant magnetic field b acting parallel to the plane of the disk okay now we'll just pull the disk a bit downwards from its equilibrium position and it will release it sorry so initially it was in along this line now we have pulled it by some distance and we have released so at any instant the center of mass of the disk is below a distance x from its equilibrium position of course it will have a velocity v okay and the spring is further stretched from x not to x not plus x okay so to find out the time period uh, of a body for shm the best way to solve those equations is by energy equations i mean most of the questions could be solved using energy relation okay so in this situation the total energy of this disk will consist of three parts i'm sorry four parts first part is its kinetic energy second is the spring potential energy okay if you consider this as the reference level for the gravitational potential energy then it will be minus mgx and another one will be the electrostatic potential energy or electrostatic energy electro static energy so this is the main thing here because due to the presence of magnetic field and this disk being a conducting one and uh, this is a moving conducting disk so it will produce an induced emf within itself resulting to an electric field and due to that electric field we'll have some electrostatic potential energy okay so let us see so if we see the side view if we see the side view of the disk and in the question it is clearly written that the thickness of the disk is much smaller than its radius it is not written that the thickness is zero the thickness is much smaller than its radius so from the side view if we imagine the disk could look something like this okay the disk would look something like this uh, let that thickness be l and length would be 2r some kind of rectangular shape at any instant there will be a velocity v in the upward direction and there is a magnetic field which is pointed which is coming out of the screen you are watching so this will create an induced emf making this side as the positive one and this side of negative polarity so the electric field will be directed in this direction and the electric field is nothing but the potential difference divided by l 
and potential difference can be calculated using the formula for motional EMF that is L dot V cross B ok L dot V cross B. So, uh, sorry I am not writing V here let me write it uh, EMF only induced EMF. So, potential difference will be L V B divided by L. So, that will give you the electric field which is V into B and due to this electric field there will be an electrostatic energy electrostatic energy which will be equal to electrostatic energy density whose formula is this one into volume of the whole conductor. So, that is half epsilon naught V square capital B square into V. Okay. So, the total energy, so the total energy we can write for the disc and the spring system. So, let us write that again total energy will be half m v square plus half k x naught plus x whole square minus m g x plus half epsilon naught v square b square into capital V. So, this is the total energy of the whole spring and the disk system at any instant t. We know energy is always constant energy as all conservative forces are acting on the system. So, energy will be constant. So, if you differentiate the energy with x I am sorry if you differentiate the energy with time Okay, it will be 0 that is equal to m v d v d t plus k x naught plus x I mean uh, v dot means d v by d t differentiation with respect to t x dot okay, um, then minus m g x dot plus epsilon naught v v dot b square capital V. So, as you can see v dot sorry v dot means acceleration and the v all the v gets cancelled out. Writing the equation properly m into a. So, this is nothing but a plus k x naught plus k x minus m g plus epsilon naught capital B square I am sorry I did a mistake here I should have cancelled the V not the V dot epsilon naught B square V dot which is nothing but acceleration into capital V. Sorry I have a habit of writing V dot um, A as V dot ok. So, please bear with me. So, now we can see from the equilibrium equation that we have written at the very beginning this one we can cancel out this ok. So, now A can be written as minus k divided by m plus epsilon naught b square capital V into x. So, now we can simply compare this with our regular equation for SHM where omega being the angular frequency that is k divided by m plus epsilon naught b square capital V. So, the final time period is 2 pi root over m plus epsilon naught b square capital V divided by k. Okay. So, this is the answer please go through the solution again if you think you did not catch or you have missed something write down in the comments for any doubt I will reply instantly ok peace